So human design is a system that tells you how you're best meant to operate in the world, how you best make aligned decisions, how you are best meant to manage your energy, how you deal with other people, because that's kind of important. But it also has a lot of information about your unique gifts, your strengths, your weaknesses, where you can most powerfully grow. Like, where is it that you that's kind of holding you back and what is that sweet spot is when you finally when you finally overcome that weakness where you can really step into your power and it also tells you where are the areas in your life where you're capable of very very deep transformation and this is usually what takes a lifetime for us to really unpack and uncover and human design tells us all of these things and what i think makes human design so eerily accurate um even more so than astrology in some respects, is the fact that it is a conglomeration, a culmination of a bunch of different spiritual modalities, such as the I Ching, the chakra system, the tree of life, the Kabbalah, but also physics and genetics. Human design tells us where we are most vulnerable to the conditioning of other people. Where do we take in other people's limiting beliefs? Where do we believe that we are not enough? Where do we believe that we are too much? Human design has a very intricate and detailed system that really gets into the heart and the soul of of who we are. And it's not just, you know, us as, you know, one being. It's also our what we're conscious of and what we're not conscious of. You know, how does our soul operate in contrast with how our body operates? Because sometimes those two aspects of ourselves do not operate in the same way. Like our soul might want to just go and go and go and go and our body's like, bro, I need a fucking nap. So human design really ties everything in together in a way so that's so beautiful. When you really put all the pieces together, you see the full person. You see their struggles. You see their strengths. You see their triumphs and I, I say this to my clients all the time. You really get to know someone when you do a reading for them. You really, you see them almost better than they see themselves. And it's it's an honor and it's a privilege for me to be able to do what I do. So I, I love talking about it. I really do love talking about it. So I love this question. This is a fantastic question. 